Trump's longtime friend and political supporter Roger Stone is out on $250,000 bond tonight. This after appearing in a Fort Lauderdale courtroom to answer an indictment from special counsel Robert Mueller. We're talking one count of obstruction of an official proceeding, five counts of false statements and one count of witness tampering. Prosecutors say he coordinated with Trump campaign officials about WikiLeaks stolen emails. Stone appeared confident, if not defiant, as he left the courtroom today. As I have always said, the only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. 29 FBI agents arrived at my home with 17 vehicles with their lights flashing uh, when they could simply have contacted my attorneys and I would have been more than willing to surrender voluntarily. Uh, they terrorized my wife, my dogs. Uh, I was uh, taken to the FBI facility, uh, although I must say the FBI agents were extraordinarily courteous. Uh, I will plead not guilty to these charges. I will defeat them in court. I believe this is a politically motivated investigation. Uh, I am troubled by the political motivations of the prosecutors. Uh, and as I have said previously, there is no circumstance whatsoever under which I will bear false witness against the president, nor will I make up lies to ease the pressure on myself. <clears throat> Roger Stone. Paul Schiff Berman is a law professor at George Washington University. You've seen him here before, uh, giving us analysis here. So what, what do you make of what happened today? It's big, but how big and why is it big? Well, I think the noose is tightening really around uh, Trump and his inner circle because what we now have is allegations uh, with a lot of detail behind them of a direct back channel from the Trump campaign to WikiLeaks with regard to uh, all of this information even after it was clear that that information was coming from Russian intelligence uh, uh, services and circles. And so uh, that communication was going in both directions through Roger Stone. Uh, so WikiLeaks was sending messages to the campaign. The campaign was asking WikiLeaks to uh, um, release information at certain times, but not at other times, and so forth. Um, that's very serious allegations. Yeah, it's clear that somebody or somebody's in the Trump campaign wanted you know, this information from WikiLeaks. Who are we talking about? Do you have an educated guess? Who, who was the go-to person in the campaign for Roger Stone? Well, it's a little bit hard to tell, and the indictment is cagey about it. Uh, but at least at one point uh, in the indictment, it refers to, in July, uh, someone directing a senior Trump uh, campaign official to give a message to Roger Stone. So who is it that could direct a senior Trump campaign official, my guess is that's either Trump himself or a member of Trump's family. Yeah, it's a small campaign, so, so it couldn't have been a lot of people. That's right. Okay. And uh, it, uh, later it also refers to a senior campaign official, and that has been identified as Steve Bannon, but that was later. Bannon wasn't on board in July, so uh, it would have to be someone else. Okay. Hang here for a second. Who is Roger Stone? He's worked on several Republican campaigns, including Reagan's presidential run back in 1980. He was a staffer for President Richard Nixon's 1972 campaign. He later served on the committee to reelect the president that was entangled in the Watergate scandal that eventually brought down Nixon. He's such a big fan of the former president that he actually has a tattoo on his face uh, of uh, Nixon's face in the center of his back. That is a fan, right? It's quite amazing, actually. Uh, and I think part of the reason, perhaps, that the uh, Mueller team uh, actually descended on his house with such a show of force, uh, it partly may have been to make sure he didn't destroy evidence. Uh, but I think also it's a statement that Stone is now in the grasp of law enforcement. Uh, and since up till now he hasn't shown any willingness to cooperate, maybe this show of force was to try to get him to start thinking about it. Um, right now he's pretty defiant, though. Yeah, just uh, an extra question. Uh, if, if you were like the attorney for Roger Stone, what, what would you think of him parading out of the courthouse, you know, insisting on making a statement? 
continuing to be Roger Stone, okay? Is that not a problem when you're trying to defend this guy? He's facing some serious charges here, yeah. some serious jail time. Well, generally, as an attorney, you don't want your client to be saying anything publicly. Right. Uh, so making a big defiance statement is not what you want. Uh, and it's particularly not what you want if you're going to begin to enter into a negotiation about a plea deal or about cooperation or something like that. It suggests that uh, it's going to be very hard to flip Roger Stone at any rate. Yeah, Professor Berman, uh, law professor, George Washington University, as usual. Thanks a lot for, for the information. Thank you.